Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Iqmal Isham by Muhammad Isri My matric number is 8182566 Okay, for the introduction First of all, this task is to prepare a report regarding our business gadget process in business mathematics Okay, before that, we must form our own company And for this our presentation, we will talk about all the costs paid for our own company Hi, Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Al Alif Memoronzi My metric number is A1A314. Today, I will present about company name and the details of the company in question one. First, the name of the company is the Kasars Boutique Enterprise. Address is University Malaysia Kelantan, Campus Kota Taman Bendahara, 16100, Pengkalan Cepa, Kelantan. The owner of the company is Muhammad Dinar Alif bin Muhammad Runzi. Uh, date of establish is 1 June 2022 and the type of the business is partnership. Next is about our employees and our department. We have tens of employees and we have seven of departments. First, we have general manager. Second, we have R&D department, financial manager, sales department, operation department, marketing department, and the last one is customer service department. Next is about payroll report. Okay, in this payroll report, uh, we have a payroll report with ending dates. It's a uh, 16 June 2022, and the today's date is a uh, 13 June 2022. First employee name is uh, Muhammad Iqmal Isham by Mahmoud Sri. Uh, he is work as a general manager, and he got the gross pay is 1,000. Then we have uh, Muhammad Azamuddin bin Khalid. He is work as a R and D department. He has uh, overtime hours is five. Ringgit per hour, and we have Muhammad Shazwan Ashraf dan Muhammad Razib. He is work as a financial department. He has a regular pace nine uh, hundred. Next is Nur Atira binti Abdullah. She is work as a sales department. She has a hourly rate is fifty ringgit. And next is Juhaira binti Johan. She is work as a operation department, and she got gross pay is two thousand sixty two and fifty. Next. Is Aina Izwa binti Mahan. She is work as a marketing department. She has a commission one thousand five hundred. And the last one is Nur Nabiha binti Osman. Works as a customer service department, and she got the gross pay is seven hundred forty four. And the overtime rate that we use is three point zero percent. Hello, my name is Wanu Shazwani Beti Wan Ahmad Fazi, and my magic number is eight one eight three four eight two. As you can see on the table description, we have our own money, which is twenty thousand, and loan from relative forty five thousand with interest rate two point five percent for eighteen months. Total interest amount is one thousand six hundred eighty seven point fifty cent, and total for the future value is forty six thousand six hundred eighty seven point fifty cent. We also borrow our money from bank X Y Z, which is seventy thousand, and they have interest rate three point five percent. Compounded semi annually for five years, so that the for interest amount is thirteen thousand two hundred sixty one and eleven cent. Meanwhile, for the future value is eighty three thousand two hundred sixty one and eleven cent. Then for a solution from question one, which is interest amount loan from a relative, use the formula I equal to P R T, which is I stand for simple interest, P stand for free simple, R stand for rate of simple interest per annum, and T stand for time of term. P equal to forty five thousand, R equal to zero point zero. 025 t equal to 18 over 12. So total interest we get is 1,687.50 cent using that formula. Next question two. Future value of loan relative. We using formula S equal to P in bracket 1 plus R T, which is T equal to 45,000. R equal to 0.025 and T equal to 18 over 20 months. So the sum of future value of loan relative we get 46,687.50 cent. Moving on question three. Which is interest amount from bank X Y Z. We use formula I equal to S minus P, where S stand for future value and P stand for amount invested. So for the calculation, S equal to R M eighty three thousand two hundred sixty one and eleven cent. P equal to seventy thousand. So that we got I equal to thirty thousand two hundred sixty one and eleven cent. For the last question is future value of bank X Y Z. We use formula S equal to P in bracket one plus I. 
by the power of n where s stands for amount accumulated at the end of certain period or future value meanwhile p stands for amount invested i equal to k divided m which is i stands for period die interest rate s stands for nominal interest and n equal to mt so for the calculation we get p equal to 17000 k equal to 0.035 m equal to i equal to 0.0175 t equal to 5 n equal to 10 so sum we got is 8 3,261.11 For the question to B Promissory note As you can see on the table We can see promissory note Value 45,000 On 1 June 2022 I promise to pay To the loan of relative Nur Alisha After 18 months After the date Which is 45,000 only For a value Received with interest Rate 2.5% For an Unpaid. The detail of the promissory note is maker of the note by Warno Shazwani Binti Wan Ahmad Bazi and she had to pay to her Alisha and the date of promissory note start on 1 June 2022 and will be end on 12 December 2024. For the question 3A, this is a list of machines along with course we use for floating store business. For the question 3B1, this is a table of depreciation for 5 years using declining balance method. Our company assumes a useful life of 5 years while the salvage value is RM1449 for clothes folding machine. To find the annual depreciation, the formula is a cost of asset times annual rate of depreciation. But before that, we will find the annual rate of depreciation and the formula is R equal 1 minus N roots salvage value divided by cost. For example, based on year 1, R equal 1 minus 5 root 1449 divided 10449. The answer is 0.32640591. After that, we can find the annual depreciation which is 10,449 times 0.32640591 and the answer is RM3410 ringgit and 61 cent. To find the depreciation to date or accumulated depreciation, the formula is DA equal C minus C in bracket 1 minus R, the power of N. For example, year 1, 10,449 minus 10,449 in bracket 1 minus 0 0.32640591, the power of 1. And the answer is RM3410.61. To find the book value at the end of year, the formula is dvt equal c in bracket 1 minus r, the power of n. For example, based on year 1, 10,449 in bracket 1 minus 0.32640591, power of n. And you will get the answer rm 7000 and 7038 ringgit 39 cent and okay, now i will going to number three p to roman and is it was the depreciation schedule for five years using the sum of year digit method our company assume is use useful life of five years while the service value is 1444 to calculate and construct a depreciation table for clothes for the machine and what we can see here have a depreciation schedule and of year annual depreciation depreciation to date and book value at the end of year next we go to question 3c our company received an invoice for one of our machinery costs which is sewing machine on 33 March 2022 from supplier A with a term of 7 over 10 and 5 over 15. The cost of the sewing machine is 1,309 ringgit. If our company paid the bill on 30 March 2022, our company will receive the 7% discount from supplier A because 
the our company paid the bill less than 10 days from the date of the invoice after we do the calculation we will know that the amount of 7% discount is as the same as RM91.63 after minus the discount that we receive from supplier A the amount that we should pay for sewing machine to supplier A is RM1270.37 other than that if our company paid the cost of the sewing machine on 5 April 2022 our company will receive a discount of 5% from the supplier A because our company paid the bill less than 15 days from the date of the invoice after we do the calculation we will know that the discount that is given by the supplier A which is 5% is as the same as 65 ringgit and 45 sen after minus the discount that we receive from supplier A the amount that we should pay for sewing machine to supplier A is RM 1243 ringgit and 55 sen Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ma'at Rabinti Agwa A31A2707 So today, I would like to present for question number 4 Based on the point learned that your company has identified in table 1 at 6.6% compounded monthly amortized by 12 months For question A, please calculate the monthly payment Alright, for question A, how we calculate, we calculate the monthly payment which is our company had a bank loan costing 70,000 from XYZ Bank and the balance is to be settled by making 12 monthly payment at 60% compounded monthly The first one, we have loan uh, which is 70% and the, the first step, we have to find the number of interest periods which is and then we have to find the periodic interest rate which is I and then after that we can uh, found the monthly payment so here for me the number of periods uh, N equals M multiplied T which is 12 multiplied 1 then for me the for interest rate I equals K divided M which is 0 0.06 divided 12 equals 0 0.005 then we can calculate the monthly payment which is amount borrowed multiple multiply rate multiple 1 plus rate power of the divided 1 plus rate power of T minus 1 uh, which is MP equals 70,000 multiply 0 .00, 0 0.005 multiply 1 plus 0 0.005 power of 12 then uh, divide 1 plus 0 0.005 power of 12 uh, minus 1 then we got the answer is 6,024.65 so uh, that the price that our company should pay to the bank is 6,024.65 for question B is construct the amortization schedule based on the table that we got here I just give you the formula how to find the value the first one is how to find the interest rate which is interest rate equal interest rate multiplied by the loan then uh, second one is principal paid principal paid equal monthly payment minus interest paid uh, third is how to find the any balance which is any balance equals beginning loan minus principal paid then uh, we find the interest percentage which is interest paid multiply 100 100% and uh, divided by monthly payment and the last one is principal percentage which is principal paid divided monthly payment then must be multiple multiply uh, with 100% so by the formula that we have we just use them to find the value in the table so that's all for me and thank you for the conclusion, I want to talk about payroll company is the amount of an employer's earning, bonus and de deduction. In this report, we must build a wage and salary table. We can pay them based on their skill. We also study interest and discount. Business Mathematics Chapter 4 teach this pronounce invested money and interest. So, invest for interest. Our company bought machinery that can bring various opportunities. Last but not least, we think the report has helped us learn more about Chapter 4 this semester. We hope everything is nice and enjoyable. Thank you.